Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. My name is Vito and today is going to be another uh, video series about this crashed Mercedes W202. If you haven't watched the previous series that I made in the previous video about this car and how I found it, it's going to be the link right above my head. Uh, so be sure to click it uh, and double check and just watch that video. Uh, and long story short, it's been almost like a month since I made a video, last video on it. So here's a car. I mean, it's still sitting right here, you know, just the way I jacked it up and how I removed that front bumper and all that stuff. So um, the crazy thing is that I actually was able to find the owner and I know the whole story and how this car came to this spot and what happened to it. So I'm gonna tell it, tell you uh, the story in a second. But um, the plans with this car is I'm not getting this car, but I did talk to the owner and he said that he's going to fix it actually pretty soon. Uh, so that's really awesome and he's actually a really cool guy uh, and he's not gonna actually scrap it or anything like that Which is really props to you man if you're watching this video and uh, Really amazing guys. We have to save these amazing cars uh, Especially these old-school Mercedes. So no matter what happens to your car to your old-school Mercedes or whether it's rusty or not Or whether you crash it, please fix it um, So Let's go ahead and find out what happened to this car all right guys so quick story um uh, don't actually don't pay attention to this uh ford trunk right here <laughs> um but here's the story okay so uh, i met the guy uh and uh, he told me that you know he got this car like a year ago uh, from some lady uh, this car actually is from california but he bought it here in washington um and he drove it for a little bit and then something happened he was driving down the road and it was actually really icy and he had the black ice and uh, the car just slid and um, he ran this thing into a ditch not a ditch but actually like into a curb which was actually pretty harsh so uh, if you haven't watched that previous video make sure to watch it you'll see actually the damage of it uh, but yeah that's what happened actually and it's pretty sad but I'm really happy because the owner is actually really motivated and he's gonna be fixing this car up uh, really awesome um, I was actually going to fix it but I just don't have time right now I mean I've been working on like so many different projects and stuff like that it's it's crazy and a bunch of other things that I'm doing to my W126 so yeah he ran into the ditch then after that they actually told it to the shop uh like really close like maybe two minutes away from here and the thing is that they will they were not able like they started disassembling it but they were not able to fix it so he actually like towed it to this spot and it's been here ever since and it's probably been like maybe i don't know um it was probably sitting here for like 10 months not 10 months maybe like seven months or so in this same spot so that's pretty crazy until i got to it and i actually felt pretty bad so that's why i went ahead and i um you know put it at least i put the wheel the right front wheel on it so it can just be uh looking a little better and doesn't look too abandoned so um yeah so that's kind of the story guys and uh as you can see yeah the damage is pretty crazy this fender is like really damaged too um and all that stuff from uh hitting curb and that control arm just like you know just twisting like almost in half and breaking apart so that's pretty crazy like i said make sure you watch that first video that i posted all right guys now to the crazy part are you ready like i said i am not the owner of this car i didn't buy this car but the owner provided me the key to this car okay that's your key I actually call this key uh, a fish just because it looks like a fish it's pretty cool right guys I really like these keys uh, it's pretty awesome and it's actually probably original because it's just uh, you can see by the wear I mean it's it's really old school um, so here's the plan with this car we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to start this car just have it running for a little bit because I don't know it's probably been sitting for I don't know seven months it, have, it hasn't been ran uh, last time the owner told me that the car actually uh, um, like he wasn't able to start it because the battery was probably dead or something so and i know from the previous video when i was working on this car the battery was dead so we're gonna go, go ahead i have my jumper and we're gonna, we're gonna try to start this uh, baby up this old school c-class and uh, i have the bumper inside that i removed last time so i might try to actually reattach it back and yeah we'll see i'll try to do a couple more things and i just want to mainly run this car just so maybe the battery can charge up 
because I'm really not sure. Um, I think the battery was like it's pretty yeah, like fresh uh, as far as the manufacture date. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and do it. Now no luck. I gotta double check my power and stuff. Starter doesn't want to spin. Jumper is a little low, guys. Okay, that's why. Still no luck. All right, I'm putting it on the engine ground right now. That's weird. I'm gonna try to connect the jumper to this. And that doesn't work. I'm gonna have to go deeper and probably see what's wrong, whether it's the starter or something. Guys, you know that I never give up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and try to slide underneath and give that starter some like love taps. You know, not too, not too horrible, but like just like some love taps, all right? And then we're gonna try to restart and see if it works. And try this thing again guys <laughs> success oh my god no way she's running the baby's running oh my god
alternator is charging, great. All right guys, so that's the plan. I'm gonna run this car right now. Uh, let it warm up, hopefully the battery charges up. Um, I'll make sure the temperature is good. And then, like I said, guys, I'm probably gonna start putting this bumper back on and some other things. And yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the owner, see what he says. But like I said, guys, his plan is to fix this car up. So he said he has some friends that have like a body shop or something like that. So they have a, a frame so they can pull that thing out a lot easier. Um, if there was not a choice if let's say this car was mine right now i would have definitely uh, like fixed it up too i you know i had a, another method in my mind the way to do it is i was going to actually uh you know use my friend's truck uh get like a big chain and just you know strap that chain to that uh control arm mount and just like yank on it so yeah but since the owner of this car has you know some friends that will do it that's great i'm really happy about it uh he said he will just have to tow it over there and that's it but i'm just happy that this thing is coming back all right and this engine actually has some noise in the front pulleys and the lifter is sticking which is normal for now it hasn't ran for a while there's smoke and it's Coming from uh, valve cover gaskets right there. All right. So, I'm gonna let it run, let it warm up, and we'll see. The engine has been running for about like 20 minutes, probably. I think the thermostat is bad, it's barely getting to 80 now. everything still works it's insane cool see if it starts up again and this key Needs some help too. Might need to be replaced. This front face is broken. I wonder how it broke. All right, great. So the starter is back to life. Starter is back to life, guys. Found out what the noise was. It's coming from the water pump or from this idler pulley. It's like really like coming, which basically the same kind of noise from both pulleys. So the best thing would be to take the belt off to determine actually if it's from the water pump or just that idler pulley. Man, I just want this thing fixed and back on the road. are good wow well, also possible that we have some bad engine and transmission mounts but the transmission gauges horn works very nice All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Lots of videos coming up uh, every week on my channel. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.